Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So let's see the current state of our front-end application. We have already implemented this authentication authorization. I mean simple authentication with the Firebase which is asking us the, the basic information. Let's enter that. Okay, I mean too much on the mobile number. I'm just entering the dummy data. There is no validation on this. And then here we can add something like uh, joy at the gmail.com and then we can add uh, the password password let's see okay now I will just sign up so once the user is getting signed up we need to uh, actually remove this panel and uh, it's like auth state had changed in the firebase so it is actually particular to the firebase whenever you do the sign up it also considers you as a logged in so what i will do is i can also log out and i co i can also change the implementation so that user have to manually log in first before doing that so i think we have email address which is and we have password also let's see this so i'm doing a sign in so once you do, do the sign in uh, now you can see the logout right because the state of our redux has changed the logged in is true and we got the token and the email this is the state of the current state of our application which we are holding and whenever you are doing a user login then we are sending these actions right so in the redux we are managing the current state of the user right login success and logout so here we can actually go to explore that is actually uh, our restaurant page and here we are going to develop a lot of things like uh, whenever we, we enter into this we will see the top picks exclusive premium vegetarian only so we already have this uh, restaurant API already built we just add these set of filters on the restaurant list APIs okay I need exclusive the premium vegetarian non-veg and all the restaurant nearby and we will also use this landing page there is a search bar right so it will actually pick up your location and based on the location you should be able to see uh, the nearby restaurant okay so let's see that so here it is a redux state we don't have much and now on the front end side it's just a simple firebase authentication we have already have added i just uh, cleaned it up uh, with the router so whenever user is logged in okay uh, take the take him to the landing page and uh, just replace the login with the logout button all these things and here uh, if you see our routes right these are the private routers like the currently the restaurant page is a private route but i will change it for now the implementation looks like this so once user is logged in he will be able to uh, move to the restaurant page by explore by clicking onto the explore button otherwise he will stay on the landing page and here we are getting the state from the redux using youth selector okay like uh, what is the current state and we are passing it and validating in this route okay user is logged in okay let's allow the user to move into the restaurant page okay so this is the current state of our application now the next objective because now we are able to log in is you are able to sign up a little bit of the cleanup but that's not important now we need to build a restaurant page and the restaurant page we have the new bar new bar also we need to build that is not as clean as we want and then there is a you can see the carousel slider and then we have the list of uh, restaurants top picks uh, exclusive premium vegetarian non -veg. all these we are going to get from the api only and those apis some apis will be public some apis will be private which only logged in user can access currently this restaurant is a private but it can be a simply as a route okay because we are not doing anything uh, much here it's like uh, listing down all the restaurant but when you start adding things on the cart then we will uh, make those routes as a protected so first you have to log in then only you will be able to uh, enter into that page so the private route concept we already uh, have done so we just need to change this route to private route component and our application will start considering that as a private route and that will be a protected okay so let's see that uh, in the next video guys. Uh, thanks everyone.